Hi everybody and welcome to video four in our Buzz Into Spring series. Now uh, the first thing I want to do is to remind you to go visit the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group and the Junk Journal Tutorials and More Facebook group. Those are my two groups and we're going to talk more about groups in just a minute but I just want you to go check them out. We have um, things that we do every week. Tuesday is um, YouTube Tuesday, Thursday is Etsy and Ko-Fi Thursday, Freebie Friday, and then Sunday is Say Hello Sunday where we all say hello to our new members. So we have lots of fun going on and I want to make sure that you check them out. Okay, so now Buzz Into Spring is a big event. It's a collaboration event between Nonstop Paper Crafts and Line.Arrow and it's also my design team project for Line.Arrow for this month. Now the uh, kits are, that are uh, used or that I'm going to be using is the 22 page Buzz Into Spring kit by Nonstop Paper Crafts, the 22 page kit Buzz Into Spring by Line.Arrow and, and each one is at their respective Etsy shops. Okay, then now I finally have this all figured out. So you've got the two main kits at each site then you have an add-on kit. See, I got it figured out. I thought I was right in the last video. Of sepia and black and white. That's one add-on, 44 pages. Now, let me tell you, each of these kits is about $5. Okay? Each of these are less than three, 44 pages. Okay? Now, there's a flip through video, um, one by Line.Arrow, one by Nonstop Paper Crafts, and that was gonna, that was put up on March 2nd. So you can go back to their uh, YouTube channels. You want to go to their YouTube channels anyway, um, and see the full flip throughs of the kits. All right. Now, also, there are freebies that come along with these kits because we are running. Um, challenges and giveaways and freebies and all kinds of stuff. So let's start with the freebies. The way to get the freebies is to go to the Nonstop Paper Crafts uh, Facebook group or her Ko-Fi shop or go to the Line.Arrow Facebook group which is Line.Arrow Junk, Junk Journal Group and that's the name of the Facebook group. Don't worry, all of these links are going to be below. Okay, um, so you can go there or go to the Line.Arrow Ko-Fi shop and get your freebies there. Then um, that's going to be once a week. You'll get a new set of freebies and you'll get them in the color, the black and white and the sepia. All right, and they go with the kit, obviously. So the other way that you can get, um, mm, let me do this too. See, I thought I had it under control. But every week there's a challenge and there's a challenge video from Line.Arrow and a challenge video from Nonstop Paper Crafts showing you their interpretation of that week's challenge. All right, now you can do those if you like or if you don't. You can use just the freebies to do them or you can use the freebies and the kits or just the kits and we'll talk about that in just a second too. Now you can get more freebies, even more, by going to the other four Facebook groups that are in this um, collaboration. So, of course, you have the Line.Arrow Junk Journal group that I just mentioned and the Nonstop Paper Crafts Facebook group, which I just mentioned. We also have Two Sisters Jam, Haystacks Crafty Corner, Sweet Pea Papers, and Junk Journal Tutorials and more. Now, in these four groups, Two Sisters Jam, Haystacks, Sweet Pea Papers, and Junk Journal Tutorials and more, you get a freebie every week, and you have to go to that Facebook group to get that freebie. You can't go to Two Sisters Jam and get the Sweet Pea Papers freebies. It's not there. Okay, you got to go to each one. So that means you need to sign up for each one if you want to get all your freebies. Okay, and each freebie, like I said, is going to come in color, sepia, and black and white. Color, sepia, black and white. Color, sepia, black and white. And that's going to happen every week. Um, for three weeks during the month, the first three weeks during the month. All right. Now, why is this important to get your freebies and, and your papers and, and all that stuff? Because um, 
not only do we have the challenges, but you can make whatever you want. You can make a book or some cards or um, a folio or, or whatever you want to make. And then post your pictures at any of these groups. I suggest all six groups. Every uh, post that you make that you use just the freebies, you get one entry into our end of the month drawing. If you use the freebies and some of the papers, then you get two entries into the drawing at the end of the month. And they're each Facebook group is having a drawing, so there's 18 prizes that you could possibly win. Um, you could win six because you can win once in each group. And um, just this first drawing, or the drawing from last month, I saw that there was someone that had won in two groups. So they won two prizes, um, and maybe more depending on what place you know they won first, second, or third. Um, so you want to post your pictures, and you get one or two entries. If you use the papers alone, you get two entries. Papers and freebies, you get two entries, or freebies, you get two entries. Okay, and then that drawing is at the end of the month, and there's 18 prizes. So look at that. I zoomed right through that. Sort of, kind of. So now we're going to take a look real quick at where we left off. So when we left off, we had done page one, and I've now made the cards for everything. Page two. Look where that one ended up. That one ended up pretty cool. And there's a card in here. And this is the card for here. Okay. Oh, and there's a card over here. So I've done all those. I'm not going to pull them all out. That's for a flip through. Then um, I did this, which is just um, three pockets, three tags. This pocket at the top goes from the top all the way to the bottom. This one goes from the middle all the way to the bottom. And obviously this one is just this bottom little pocket here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do on here. I do want to make it a writing page, but I obviously don't want to leave it blank. I wanted to stamp one of these stamps. These are the coolest stamps. You get them from uh, Timu, which apparently everyone is calling Timu, which I'm going by the Super Bowl pronunciation. But I have one. You don't buy these as a set. You have to track them down. But there's one, which is this one, that's um, butterflies and such. And there's butterflies in the kit, along with the bees. And so I wanted to stamp it here, but I'm afraid this stamp is going to show through the paper. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm afraid. Now, I could do it on the other paper, which I think I will. I'll do it on the other half of this. I'll do it over here. And then if it shows through, then I'll just put a side pocket over there. Okay, so now continuing on. I had this held on with a paper clip, but then I realized the paper clip would go into the center. So I took the paper clip off, plus it, this is so long and skinny, it swung quite a bit. Um, I could have put the paper clip on the side but that still would have given me the same problem. I used two Velcro dots, and if you can see in there, I put um, a card in there. So the card faces the way of the this way, so that it can show through the window, okay? It's a little squirrely to get in there. The envelope's kind of squirrely. And then we've got the plastic for the window. I should have taken that into account. I made it bigger. The plastic. Okay. So then we've got the middle, which is six and seven, which we're not going to do today. We're going to do page eight. Okay. Now. For page eight, we're going to do a flip out and an envelope, okay? So this is page eight. 
This is the paper we're going to use. And let's put the fronts and the backs to the side. We need to construct this first. So let's score it at a half an inch. I did cut it to the right size, the right height. So let's score it at a half an inch so we don't forget and mess up like we did on our last one. Okay, so let's score it at half an inch. At this point, it doesn't matter which end because we can just flip it over. It's just a black piece of paper. And from there, we want to measure how wide we want it. So let's fold this over. You know, we didn't do this on the last one, but we should have. Let's miter the corners. And that just makes it less thick at the corners and it makes it less obvious that it's glued on. Okay, so if we glue this on now, it will be way too wide. So let's decide how wide we want it. Well, we're going to have the envelope attached to the flip out this way. And I want a little bit of this to show. So I think we better do just a little bit less than the full page. So let's go to, let's see. Over there, this is just a white chunk pencil. Okay, so now we have this. We need to construct this first because we need the papers. To cover the flap from this and we're not going to paper this at all um, you know it might be kind of neat to paper the inside wonder what that would look like and just not paper this I think we should leave the whole thing black because whatever we put in here will be the colored part we don't need to color the thing. Alright, so this is here, and this is going to go here. Okay, that works out. So let's put this on the page. We're not going to use any windows this time. have to use a window every time even though windows are fun I love making windows I don't know if you guys know that or not <laughs> I like cutting into envelopes you know I hardly ever use an envelope just a straight up envelope why is my voice so deep all of a sudden So we've got this glue down. Let's look in here. A little bit of glue seepage right there. This looks like it should be in just a smidge more. Okay. Now we're going to um, glue the envelope on. You know, we could glue it on this way. No. So let's glue the envelope on this way. And I picked one 
that has an opening like this and not just a little straight across one because then you'd never be able to get anything in. Okay? So now we're going to do this. So this isn't hard to put together. We have to figure out where You know what? This is going to have to face the inside so we can put our magnet right here. If we face it to the outside, then we need to put a magnet here. Well, we could do that because we can just put a circle over it. Doesn't matter. That way it breaks up the complete black. So let's do this this way. Let's make sure we're even, but not pushed in, because we definitely want to make sure we have enough room. Oh, this is right. No, it isn't. I want to put the envelope on this way because I want the front of the envelope to be on the front. It doesn't matter the glue on the other because we're going to put paper over it. We'll just double check our edges. Make sure none of the old glue is going to show. This way. I'm trying to decide if I want it in the center. Let's put it approximately in the center. Let's look at this side. Yeah, so Pull this out just a little bit. Come on. take it off the glue on there just glued it right down this is going to be covered by paper so don't panic to do it a third time. glue on here now. Okay, let's do it this way. Okay, 
yeah, I should have done it that way the first time. Now only the glue that's going to show, like right here, this might show. We'll take that off. We don't have to bother with this. And then on this side, let's keep this open for a little while. This is a little close to the edge. So let's take it off. make sure we don't have any seepage because this whole side's going to show. Then we need to put our magnet on. Now this magnet I'm going to glue on only because it um, is going to be covered by a dot and I don't want to put a piece of tape on it. So we'll temporary it with glue. So now we want to put it about there. Okay, let's let that dry a little bit. Now we can, yeah, we can um, do the front of the flip out. So we're going to measure it from this side over. find my pencil. I'm going to measure it to here. On the bottom we need to take a little bit off. So we'll cut it off about there. Could almost just leave that, but it won't stay on, I don't think. Okay, we're gonna ink it. So it's 3.20 in the morning. I've been up since 1. I had some other stuff to do on the computer. It's the 4th, so namely I had to pay bills. Normally I get paid on the 3rd because I'm on disability, I'm disabled. Um, but this month, the third was on a Sunday, so I got paid on Friday. But I did put off paying my bills until today. Which, you know, most of the ones I pay in person are, are due on the fifth or later. Okay. So there's my bill paying history, showing you what a good little customer I am. I have most stuff set up to auto pay. Okay. 
that big splop. But we're not going to just leave it like that. I think a side tuck. I was going to put a side belly band. I think we could still do that. But we're going to do it in the sepia. I don't think I have a long enough piece. I do for a tuck. I don't know. Could be a long, narrow pocket. Hmm. Drink a pop to think out of it. I think I'd rather have the belly band. I have to get out a big piece. interesting part that I was looking at. Seeing that's too wide. For here anyway. Hmm. I wonder about the center of this one. Hmm. This would be okay. A little bit of interest. Not too wide. Yeah, so let's cut it right here at the edge of the B. We still can use this busy as a B. We'll have to trim it just a little bit. Trim it off the bottom. sniffly in this video. I sprayed my spray up my nose. Try to dry everything out. A little TMI for you there. Spraying on sprays. I did take my the rest of my medicine too, so our alarm it's not gonna go off, I don't think. Can't remember if I remembered to turn it off. I don't think I did to tell you the truth. And let's glue this on. still see the card. Okay. Very nice. Oh shoot. I wiped across. 
crossed it and moved it. <laughs> That's not very nice. All right, so we'll come back and put a card on that. We can put our circle on here now. See if I have one the right size that I like. About this one. Hmm, looks like it needs to be trimmed a little bit. Scan and cut off just a little bit needs to be calculated or calibrated. Let's ink this. You would think why it's got a border. Well the border is kind of a sepia color. It's a sepia piece. So you need to make a black border. Cover this with glue. Remember, we're holding the magnet down. Now, this is going to be right way. Just going to flip out that way. So our B needs to go this way. Darn it. I'm going to have to erase that off. Yeah, I put too much glue on there. I still have that 1877 Cars for Kids song in my head. Thank you very much, Mr. Commercial Man. Comes off these black cards or paper and envelopes really easily. The glue. Okay. So that's all we have on that. I like that a lot. And I'll print out some stationery to put in there on some more of my coffee dyed paper that I finally got made. My uh, 22 pound card stock typewriting paper came. All right, now we need to do the front of this, which is this. I want to center the flower, so let's cut the width first. Had it cut that B. I should have calculated that a little bit better. I mean, we could have had the flower a little off center just to save that B. It's all right, you can still see most of them. Now, if I was a clever person, I would cut out a piece of acetate to match this and glue it on, and then this would look like a specimen slide, which is what it's made to look like. Okay. This is the bottom of the envelope is what we want, not the bottom of the flip out. Okay. Let's make sure we're right side up still. Okay. I mean with the paper and everything. So let's ink this.
a piece of hair in my bracelet. <laughs> Ew. I'm starting to get cold. It was warm. Well, warm enough because I had taken my sweater off, my big gray craft room sweater. Or let's just call it house sweater. like this needs some sepia but I'm not sure hmm may have to think about it most of the stuff are stamps I kind of wish we had some words This is the same flowers that are on the belly band, right? Oh, here she goes, getting matchy-matchy again. Yay! Oh, we got some glue to get off. What happened there? Mm-hmm. Matchy matchy it all up in true Terry fashion. You know, my email is Techie Terry, which is fine. I don't mind saying it. You guys can email me. cluster there. You know, I have this little bitty butterfly. We still have the back of the um, flip out to do. For goodness sakes. How am I going to get it out of the spot? There we go. center. Yeah, let's put it there. Let's 
hold this up before it sticks. For goodness sakes. I slid it and then there wasn't enough glue. this Cut it all off the bottom. I'm not going to leave both sides just a writing space. So I'm going to do something, I don't know what. Let's measure the width. That would be one thing to do. Cut it short. I could cut it crooked. And that's why it's short. We can put a pocket at the bottom. Cover this up. But let's make it straight first. So we'll line it up with the top. We'll put a border, pocket, or something in sepia to fix that up. So this is going to go here. And the width is going to be here. See if I can cut this straight. Apparently it's more difficult than it looks. <laughs> okay. Man, some of these lids there's like a suction to them or something. I don't even know how that happens. So it looks like we're going to put a pocket across the bottom, which is fine. I was going to do something to this page. I wasn't sure what. Now I'm sure. <laughs> of only being sure versus not sure. I don't know how many of you have ever seen the movie Idiocracy, but if you haven't, go run, 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 don't walk, run out to watch it. <laughs> you can find it just about anywhere on the cable or one of your streaming services or whatever. So let's make sure the bee's the right side up. Let's glue our paper on. I think this is turning out all right. We have a nice image on the front. We've got a magnet. We have to remember to put the magnet on the back of the paper. Sorry, little bees, you're getting glued over. We are really definitely buzzing into spring. 
it's only March, but I live in Seattle. We have a very moderate winter. This winter we had about a week of fairly cold weather. It actually went down to 11, which it normally, that would not even be part of our winter, winter weather. You know, that's like a severe winter weather. We didn't get any snow this year. Some of my friends across the Sound did. I live on the east side and the Seattle side. We want to line this up with the top and we'll fix our bottom. <laughs> we'll fix our bottoms in a minute. Oh, it really wants to stick to that envelope paper right away. Okay, so let's find one of our scraps. That's too bad. Let's use this. Okay. I want to make it this wide. And I'm going to make it this long. See if I can do this one. Good to me. Let it be at the top, word B at the bottom. And then if I put anything over here, it's going to ruin our writing space. So maybe a piece of ephemera in this corner. Or maybe a bee inside the magnifying glass. That would be kind of fun. I had a fussy cut bee. But I don't. So I have to look into maybe fussy cutting one of my own. But the bees on here are awfully small. That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? I bet I could find a bee somewhere. I could put a small butterfly on there. I have plenty of those. I'll look at my butterfly bucket. Surely I have something that will work. I know the right size. I've got some the right size, but whether they're in black and white, I'm not sure. Or sepia. Sepia butterfly would be better. Okay, so I'll make the card for that off camera. So let's see if we've got everything done. Put the magnet in the back. Okay. That opens this way. Card for here. Something for in there. Probably some stationery because it's thinner. Probably should have taken some of this off to make it easier to get the um, paper in and out. Maybe an inch down. Or half an inch down, I mean. So you might want to think about that when you do yours. 
and then it opens this way or you can open it all the way out this way okay I like that let's put the magnet on the back remember that big wooden thing that I got but I do not know what it is. Don't forget, if you know what it is, put it in the uh, comments, please. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Where's our magnet? I'm checking on the wrong side. Let's see how we're doing. Magnet isn't very strong, is it? Well, I'm not going to glue this one in the book yet. I'm going to take a look at that magnet situation. But otherwise, I think the page turned out really well. I like it. I actually ended up liking this. Let's see if I can put his little wings up. Yeah, there's quite a bit of glue under there. I can do a little bit. There you go. Very nice. I like that. All right, let me figure the magnet situation out. Um, I probably should have checked it when I put it on here. Um, what I probably should have done was put a magnet here, a magnet here, and then a magnet here. I can still put a magnet here and put a dot, a circle over it. So all is not lost, if you know what I mean. The magnet has to um, attract to this one, and then this side has to attract to this side. So we'll have to wait and see, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Actually, put the magnet over here and put the circle here. I think that would be better than putting it over here because we've got the pocket. Hmm. Or would the pocket hide it better with the paper? All right. Open debate. We'll figure it out. Um, I'll figure it out off camera and then I'll let you know what I decided to do. All right. So we can't glue that in until we get the magnet thing figured out. So that's that. And um, I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay? Alrighty. Bye-bye.